Hi, today we're going to talk about the Q Agents application, which is a phone app from Sangoma. Sangoma phone apps allow users to control functions and settings directly from the screen of their phone, so there's no need to remember feature codes or access the admin panel of the phone system to make simple changes. Without phone apps, on a typical IP phone, if a user wants to log in or log out of a queue, they would need to type in the feature code, then the queue number they wish to log in or log out from, or program a key with the feature code, then listen to the audio prompts to confirm their queue status. For users who frequently log in and log out of individual queues, remembering all the different queue numbers as well as dialing in to check your login status, that just gets cumbersome. But with the Queue Agents application, users can quickly view the different queues they are members of, log in or log out of any of them, and check their queue status simply by navigating the phone's display. As you can see, we're now in the Queue Agents application. So you're able to see all of the queues that you're either a static or a dynamic agent in. Being a static agent simply means that you cannot be logged out of that queue. You can only be paused. You can tell if you're a static agent because it will be marked with an X in front of the queue name like the free PBX support. The opposite of a static agent is a dynamic agent. And that simply means you can be logged into or out of a particular queue. You can tell if you're logged in as a dynamic agent because you're going to see a plus sign in front of the queue name, just like it says there in engineering. If you see a queue with a minus sign, like sales, that simply means that you are not logged into that queue. And if you want to, all you have to do is you highlight it and then press the login button. Now, if you want to pause yourself in any queue, regardless if you're a static or a dynamic agent, all you have to do is highlight a particular queue and then press the pause button. You'll know you are paused in a queue if there is a P in front of it. And to unpause yourself, you simply highlight it and then press the unpause button. Now, if you notice, there's this all queues option up here at the top. When the all queues option is highlighted and you press either the log in, log out or the pause, unpause button, the action will affect all of the queues. And this is helpful because it's going to save you time so you don't have to manually select each individual queue and change your status one by one. And that's the Queue Agents application. It's an easy way users can visually see all the different queues they are members of and check and change their queue status. So, thanks for watching.